Glute activation is the act of firing up your glutes. So pretty much turning your glutes on because they're turn. What's up beautiful people and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm coming to you guys with a informational video on why your glutes aren't growing if you've been training them for a long time you're not seeing any progress at all so i'm actually going to probably turn this into a two-part video because there can be a number of reasons why your glutes aren't growing so i'm going to focus on three of them today um, which will be mobility glute activation and mind muscle connection i'm going to give you a heads up um, my boyfriend Teron is streaming right now, gaming, and if you know a gamer, if you are a gamer, or if you date a gamer, um, you know how intense and how loud it can get. So if you hear yelling in the background, um, yeah, I want to apologize for that, but um, I need to get this video up for you guys, so I have to record right now. Before we get started, do not forget to give this video a thumbs up. Leave me a comment, enjoy this video, or have any questions. Don't forget to hit that post notification bell so you know when I'm posting, and of course, don't forget to subscribe. Now, I'm jumping into the first reason why your glutes aren't growing, and that can be poor mobility. Okay, so not to get mobility confused with flexibility because they're two different things. Now, mobility, you need to move your body without any stress or stiffness. You are training and lifting weights, you are putting your body under a lot of stress. When it comes to mobility, one, it helps improve emotion and your form and your technique. I see a lot of people doing static stretching and static stretching is great especially when you're trying to work on your flexibility but it's not the best when it comes to weight training or training in general trying to prevent injuries and trying to improve your form. You can, things like a squat um, or hip thrust or anything like that you're moving the whole time you're not holding one position and when I'm doing my mobility work, I like to focus on my hip flexors specifically because I have very, very tight hip flexors and um, that's actually a problem that a lot of people have. Now, if our hip flexors are overactive, that means our hip extensors are turned off and those hip extensors that I'm referring to are your glutes and your hammies. If hips are overworking, then that means your glutes and your hamstrings aren't working, which can be a huge problem when it comes to specifically building your glutes. So if you're not doing mobility work, you need to be doing mobility work. Super important. second reason why your glutes aren't growing is glute activation. This is one of the biggest things that you guys should be doing, not just before your glute or leg days, but every single day. So glute activation is the act of firing up or turning on your glute muscles. Because we sit majority of the day, our glutes are turned off. So therefore, before we can even build them or grow them, they have to be turned on and working. So here are just a few of my favorites to get my glutes fired up and going before I work out. Now I'm telling you, before I even jump into my leg day or glute day, 
my glutes are already on fire and that's what you should be feeling before you even start your workout to begin. A good way to keep your glutes turned on and working pretty much at all times is every day just take a couple exercises, um, do some kickbacks, some fire hydrants, anything just to fire up those glutes. We sit a lot throughout the day so we definitely have to get those glutes working and have to get them turned on. Lastly, the third reason why your glutes are not growing is because you are not focusing on mind-muscle connection. Now, majority of the exercises or anything that we do, it works more than one muscle group. Um, for example, squats. Works your legs, works your glutes. I mean, core is engaged, so it's easy to get distracted. If you are not feeling a certain muscle group during an exercise, it's probably because it's underdeveloped. Um, like most people will feel their legs before they feel their glutes. And that's usually because our legs are a little bit more dominant and tend to take over. So just really slow down the exercise and focus on that hold and that time under tension and then slowly contract. Slow down the exercises will be one of my number one tips to improve your mind-muscle connection. I like to place my hands wherever I want to focus. So if I'm focusing on my glutes, um, of course, if I'm not doing an exercise that requires my hands, um, for instance, like leg press, I like to place my hands on my hips and I slow it down um, and I focus on literally that stretch in my glutes and that tends to help me out. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick video. Um, I just shot a glute workout the other day and or a few videos ago and um, I mentioned putting in some glute activation work prior and a couple people definitely requested that from me. Three tips doesn't necessarily have to just be applied to building your glutes. Um, they're important when it comes to your overall training and muscle growth in general. Now we will come back with another video on reasons why your glutes aren't growing. And this can be your eating and you not eating enough. This can be progressive overload and you not upping your weights. Very important. So um, I definitely will come back with a part two. Make sure you incorporate it in your training routine and I promise you it'll make a huge difference. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below if you have any questions. Um, don't forget to hit that post notification bell so you know when I'm posting and don't forget to subscribe.